what up what up what up cappies welcome back to my channel and if you knew what's up come on in here hop on the couch kick your feet up relax and enjoy yourselves boo if you drink smoke weed smoke cigarettes do alcohol drink alcohol and do drugs go on and grab that shit and get comfy y'all know i don't give a fuck just do you boo all right but allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers who purchased my new decks and my new gifts from my amazon wish list thank you booze it's greatly appreciated I also want to thank all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me. You don't have to, but you do, and I love you for that. And Capricorns always show me love, you know what I'm saying? So I love you guys. I, I love you guys. Um, we will be doing a reading on uh, what this person is feeling and thinking about you right now at the moment, okay? All right. And so... Oh, did I say if you'd like to donate to my channel, all my information will be in the description box down below. If I didn't, my bad. If I did, my bad. But the first cards we got, the first the cards I pulled were Patience. I don't see that spiritual union. These are some beautiful cards. Suffering in silence and universe so i feel this person wants you to be patient with them for whatever they're going through because they do feel that this is a spiritual union okay but this person that's been suffering in silence you probably stopped talking to them broke up with them blocked their ass with this um suffering in silence card here but you know something came to a complete circle us a cycle ended with this person but this person um want to come back around they want a second opportunity with you all right but let's clarify to see what we get like ever since y'all broke up this person has been suffering in silence they're probably acting like everything okay but in the inside you know what i'm saying they are really hurting about this connection but they want you to be patient with them kathy they could work a lot or just be going through something you know Make it too much noise Okay, they want you to be be patient with them because they do see this. Oh, you don't even see the card. Okay, we got the sun card, Leo. So they do see growth and success with you. They just need you to be patient with them, you know? All right, or something could have been brought to your attention. You know, a pregnancy, just apply to your life and leave the rest. Let me see if I can. And turn that on, okay? Yeah. Let me clarify this suffering and silence card.
Okay, so there's, oh, you got the Six of Pentacles. So they no longer want to feed their energies to other things and people. They want to give and take balanced relationship with you. You know, this is what they want. This is why they're suffering in silence. Because they no longer want to feed their energies to other things and people. They only want to feed their energies to you now. Okay? All right, you could have been dealing with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Probably suffering in silence because you don't want want them anymore. They just need you to be patient with them. Yeah, you put the relationship to rest. But this person still sees you as their world and they want to offer you the world. But you put the relationship to rest for some of y'all, they still feel they feel that they were a lesson learned that you're over. Oh, you're not interested in them anymore. This is why they're suffering in silence because they want to give you a give and take balanced relationship now. All right. They want to feed their energies only to you. They realize now that this is a sacred union and it's you that they want to be with. But yeah, you you step back to heal. You put the relationship to rest to step back and heal. Or whatever was going on in the relationship. Could have been a third party situation, a conflict, drama, you know. But anywho, let's get you some tarot. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So yeah, this person is feeling left out in the cold. They feeling abandoned ever since you left them out in the cold. Okay, like I said, you could have blocked them. And ever since then, they've been feeling uh, suffering in silence because they realize you're the one. Okay? And they realize they fucked up. All right? feeling mighty bad now because you don't want them no more you probably got a new a new boo and they really suffering in silence or they probably went to be with somebody else only to realize that grass one greener on the other side now 
They don't now that they now that you don't want their ass and they realize they fucked up, you don't want their ass no more. You know? Ain't no coming back from no being with somebody else. Should have kept your ass home. Yeah, something shocked your shocked your soul to the core where it caused an unexpected growth break. It caused an unexpected ending. You could be doing an Aries or a Scorpio. Yeah, but this uh situation was built on the foundation was rocky. That's why the universe brought the uh, came in and brought the tower because it was on false grounds. for the five of pentacles so I can put it down. I don't need it popping back up. One second, you guys. I don't know why I didn't get it on. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do that again. Yeah, you had to call an Uber. You called your Uber, and you got your shit and moved on. Mm-hmm. Because whatever shocked your soul to the core, you had to get on. And you got on like Donkey Kong. You was outie like 5,000. All right, you packed all your shit up. Packed all your shit. You and the kids shit. Y'all got on. Okay, you had to move to calmer waters because it was too murky over here. It was too much going on. Too much going on. The boat kept just constantly moving and shit. So you moved to calmer waters. Could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Yeah, this person wants to offer you a brand new, solid, stable beginning. Okay? Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If not, this is somebody else. This is a whole new person. But yeah, they want to offer you a brand new, stable beginning. They know they was wrong. They trying to fix it. They want to fix it if you let them. They know you carried the relationship with this Ten of Wands here. Yeah. They know you carried the relationship and it was um overburdened to you. Like you was depleting your energy and shit. You know, and they knew... And they felt like, uh, and you felt like they was taking you for granted because you literally carried the relationship. All right? And that's why your ass had to get on. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, this person walked away only to find out that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And they tried to come back. And you had all the doors locked. You had changed the locks. Matter of fact, some of y'all probably moved on their ass. But yeah, one no coming back. All right, we dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this is why they suffering in silence, because you won't let their ass back in. But they see happiness with you. They want they, a happy family with you. If you guys ain't already had a family, they want a happy family with you. All right? Wait a minute. Hold on. My bad. They still see you as they wish fulfillment, okay? This person could be drinking, doing some type of drug substance because you don't want their ass no more, and they're just trying to numb the pain. But they still feel you as they wish fulfillment, okay? As their nine of cups. Could be dealing with a cancer crisis, Scorpio. This person sits up and reminisces all the good times you guys shared and had, okay? They feel this nostalgia. There could be children involved. Yeah, they just worried about, they just, you know, thinking about all the good times you guys had. How, how much fun they had with you, Cappies. They had so much fun with you. They was happy being with you. You brought them happiness. And they remembering all them good times. Now that they asked, now that y'all, now that you left they ass, of course they thinking about all the good times you guys shared. Not even tripping on the bad. 
okay? This is, for some of you, a soulmate returning from your past, all right? You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Person was cold and distant, very had a blocked heart, very unemotional. Okay, you want to sit up and cuddle, they want to act like a fucking cold robot and shit. You want to talk to them about your day at work, about just your day period, and they was very short, like they didn't want to hear shit. You know, just cold and unemotional with their feelings. Could have been dealing with this King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, you guys were married in a long-term relationship. Okay? Yeah, some of you was dealing with a Taurus, but this person is ready to do the right thing if you let them. Well, you still holding on to a grudge. You still holding on to burdens. Okay? Whatever they did, you still holding on to it. Well, you still holding on to them walking away and going to be with somebody else. Yeah, you still can't let that shit go. Okay, because you are not sloppy seconds. I heard that. And look on his face. He's like, are, are you tripping? Okay, you must be tripping. Because ain't no coming back from that. Can be done with Aries Leo Sagittarius. make it right though they want y'all to come together they ready to come up you know come together and so that you guys can meet up and collab so you guys can work on the relationship they're willing to work on the relationship now all right there could have been a uh, there was a third party situation but they are ready to work on the relationship now with you okay and only you all right so let's get you an advice card No more. They don't want to cheat on you no more. They don't want to lie. But for some of y'all, y'all not coming back, and this is why they're suffering in silence. This is why they stressing and have uh, sleepless nights and shit because you don't want their ass no more. Okay, you are done. We got the intimate dance of beliefs, beliefs and emotions. There is strength in numbers. So let's read that. This message is for you and your close friends, families, or coworkers you have in your sphere. This is a dynamic time. The people in your life have choreography, 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 a magical dance in this 3D world. Examine your beliefs and risk of letting go of all you once knew to be true to you. No, to be true. The beautiful blue planter, planet Neptune has appeared to show you a side of yourself that you had never knew was there. Your inner eyes have been activated through meditation, self-reflection, and journeying inward. You have access to information that has eluded you in the past. Now it's time for you to take a leap in helping transform the planet. You are all more you are all more important than you realize. 
the two blue roses balancing the, the group confirm that miracles are possible. Your individuality is essential. So always find your community. It is important that you hold on to your dreams and trust your intu intuition. There are seven animal guides, one of each of the dancers. Deer, love, rabbit, luck, dolphin, friendship, snake, reaver, frog, renewal, horse, freedom, and hummingbird, joy. They are here to escort you to your new insights and adventures. Connect with them whenever you need their support. They will always answer. And your affirmation is, I am, a, I, am influential, I am an influential individual who draws strength from my community. All right, here's the card again. Here's the beautiful card again, if you can see it. So I'm going to leave it here. And if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, you can give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. All right. That's all that matters to me. Okay, guys. So until next time, thanks for watching. Same bad time. Same bad channel. Deuces.